Hey guys, what's up? I'm Rohit Kumar, host on Intellect Digest, and we have just given you a tutorial on how you can install Android N Developer Preview on your Nexus device. In this video, we are going to talk about 12 top features of Android N and what has changed. If you want to see the tutorial on how to flash Android N, the links are provided here on your uh, screen on top right as well as in the description section below. Let's get started with the top 12 features. <music> Feature number one and on top of our list is the multitasking or multi-window multitasking. Now you can have two split screen windows on stock Android with Android N and you can run them side by side, resize, you can have multiple applications uh, running side by side and it supports third party apps as well which is a very cool thing. Second feature is the new notification panel. The notifications now look better, they look uh, much crisper and good. They also come with option to reply right from the notification. They also combine notifications in one with multiple notifications coming up. There is also a change in look and feel now. There is white background and they are more pleasing to look at. Change number three is the quick toggles. When you swipe down from top, you would find some quick toggles already there, approximately five and with one arrow key downwards. When you click here, it opens all the toggles and you can change the page. Now they are paginated. Not only that, you can also edit these toggles and change the position as per your preference. Feature number four is the data saver. Now when you go to data usage, you can turn on data saver, which will be very helpful for saving your mobile data. While you are on the go, there are only restricted set of applications which you will turn on that use background data on mobile data. Rest of the application would not drain your mobile data usage and will be turned on only on Wi-Fi. It's a very welcome feature. Feature number five is the quick application switching. Once you hit on the multitasking app and when you hit back to back, it will quickly switch between these applications and it is super fast way of getting to the application that you are looking for. The call blocking feature has now been integrated into the system and if you receive unwanted calls from unknown numbers, you can just put them to block list and you will not be bothered again. There is also a new system UI tuner which lets you control various attributes of the user interface including night mode. You can also schedule when the night mode kicks in so the brightness of the display will go down as well as the backgrounds will get darker and it becomes much more easy. The system UI tuner gives you some extra functionalities as well. To turn on this feature you just need to go to the gear icon right here on top of settings and hold it for 5 seconds. When you do that the system UI tuner is enabled and is now visible under the settings. By default, it is hidden. Feature number eight is inside the UI tuner. You can now adjust the display color temperature. It gives you a complete RGB control, which means that you can select the intensity of red, greens and blues in the display tone and you can precisely control the color tones as per your liking. The dose feature that was introduced earlier with the marshmallow has now been improved. The dose feature earlier worked when the device was stationary and not being moved around and the display was off. It will reduce the frequency at which the notifications are refreshed etc. Now this feature works even when the phone is moving but the display is off and the proximity senses that the phone is in your pocket. It will kick in and this feature will extend the battery life considerably further. Next feature is the way the settings have been revamped. Now you can swipe in from the side and you get a quick access to all the setting shortcuts. The settings now also give you some quick preview of how the settings are set. For example, the display shows you adaptive brightness is on or off. The Wi-Fi tells you which conne connection it is connected to and so on. It is now very intuitive and very quick to navigate with the side pane and a very user intuitive interface. Feature number 11 is that now the beta program has been made available on over the air updates. You do not need to flash your phone manually at all. You just need to go to this website. The links are provided in the description section where you enroll for the beta program and your eligible devices will get OTA updates. So you directly download them to your phone and install the updates or developer builds directly onto the phone. And feature number 12, last but not the least is picture in picture or PIP feature where you can keep watching a certain video in a smaller shrink mode while using the Android functionality. As of now, this feature will be available only on Android TVs and not on the Nexus devices. 
so you may have to wait for some time before this feature gets available on other devices as well this was a roundup of 12 top features of android and if you want to see a roundup of best features of android marshmallow i'm leaving links here on your screen as well as in the description section below do check out the other videos as well we have done the same videos for top features of miui 7 in case you are a miui fan Give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed watching this video. For more such videos, stay subscribed by pressing the red subscribe button. This is your host Rohit Kurana signing off. Thanks for watching.